What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the Wondershare Uni Converter that reached out to me and they said we have a brand new version. Your audience will love this. This is useful for many different purposes. So guys, if you guys are excited, make sure to hit that like button down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and let's get into Wondershare Uni Converter right after the intro. All right, guys. So after this video, obviously click the link down in the description to get a hold of your copy. So once you've done that, you installed it right here. This is pretty much what you will see. So obviously right here, we have the converter option. It says convert video slash audio to and from a thousand formats. We have obviously the downloader. Let's say you need an overlay from a green screen from YouTube, for example. And obviously right here, we have a compressor as well. Let's say that you got a video file that's way too big. You can actually get that file size a lot smaller without losing any quality. So we have a lot of features, as you can tell, packed. We have an editor, we have a screen recorder, a merger, a DVD burner, and even speech to text. But if you click this arrow right here, this will give you a brief overview of what you can obviously do, such as having this player right here as well. We have a gif maker intro and outro so forth all right so let's talk a little bit more about the converter so as you can tell right here it says convert videos to and from a thousand plus formats so if we hit this button we will actually get prompt this menu okay so right here we have obviously the box where we can drag in our video files which we will get to in about a second and then at the bottom right here we have the output format we have the file location where the converter file will be stored and you can also merge AI files. So let's say that we have a video, which is MP4, and we want to convert that to a different format. Now, if you click on this button, as you can tell, these are all the video formats that you can choose from. We have obviously MP4, but that's obviously the source. So we're going to choose something else. For example, MOV, we have MKV, we have AVI, we have WMV, Windows Media Video, DV, ASF. We have all kinds of features, even like for cell phones, 3GP. We have MXF and so forth. So let's convert a video from MP4 to MOV or MKV. And then we can also choose the resolution. Now it's very important that you don't unnecessarily upscale or downscale your video. So if you recorded the video with your camera in 1080p and it's 60 frames per second, there's no need to upscale that to 4K because the resolution that it was originally shot in is not 4K. It's not gonna make it 4K all of a sudden. Obviously the output is gonna be 4K, but the actual quality will not be 4K. So we're gonna click right here on HD 1080p. Okay, so now we can click on this button to drag in a video. This is the video that you're watching right now that I just dragged in real quick. So right here we have MP4, we have the resolution. You can tell that it will be MKV and that will be the final resolution as well. We have the original file size right here, which is 468 megabytes. It is eight minutes and 24 seconds long. And this is what it will turn into. That explains the arrow right here. So it will go to 457 megabytes, a little bit smaller, and it still will be eight minutes and 24 seconds. So you can tell it will be a little bit smaller, but the quality will be the same, which is really, really cool. So right here, we also have a subtitle feature if you want to add in certain subtitles. And right here we have the audio track. Obviously we wanna keep all the audio tracks because there is audio in the video. So right here, if you go to the settings real quick, you can tell what it actually will be. So, so this video was recorded in 1080p. So we need to actually change this to 60 frames per second. So that's what we're gonna do right here. For the audio, everything is pretty straightforward. The bit rate though is also 320, the max. So once we have done that, we can keep the sample rate as it is. The level and the profile is gonna stay on auto and the bit rate as well. Right here, it's also important that you click on high quality and you can also save this as a preset. So if you want to, let's say that you want to convert videos for YouTube, you can just call this, for example, the YouTube preset and then you can hit on save new preset. And each time that you want to convert a video, you don't have to go over all the settings again. So you can tell right here, it says save to format sheet custom. So now that we can click on save and now we can click on start all. And now it's going to convert the video. Now, obviously how fast this is actually depends on a lot of factors because the length also is a big role of the video but mainly the stuff that you're using, because right here you can tell it's using the GPU acceleration. So I'm using a GeForce RTX 2070, but if you have a low-end graphics card, that's something that's gonna obviously affect the speed as well. The video is finished. So if you click on this icon right here, you can see that we can open the file location and then it will show you the folder where it's saved and then you can hit it off from there. 
So it's a really, really cool feature and it's also super, super efficient. It's important to know that the conversion speed is super fast. It's optimized for Windows devices using full GPU acceleration for AMD, Nvidia, Intel, and other hardware GPUs. It's super easy to convert all your videos to like WEBM formats, MP4, 4K, 8K, HDR. So moving on to the editor feature, right here we have trim, we have crop, watermark, effect, subtitle, audio, and speed. So let's say that you want to trim a video because it's a little bit too long. You want to hit on this button, then you're going to obviously choose the file that you want to use. It's really, really cool. We have also a AI integrated feature such as the watermark remover. We have a voice changer. We have a vocal remover. We have a noise remover. So let's say that you have a lot of wind in your shot. You can just drag in the video and it's going to remove background noise from the video or the audio. We have a watermark editor. We have a smart trimmer. We have subtitle editor. We have a background remover, AI portrait and a video stabilizer. So as you guys can tell, this program is more than just a, because obviously the title is Uni Converter, but if you think about it, this is actually a lot more than just a converter because you can screen record with this. You can create GIFs with this, intros and outros. You can convert images from JPEG to PNG or otherwise. All right, guys, so there's obviously a lot more. You have the voice changer, you have a auto crop, you have a subtitle editor, but I'm going to leave the rest to you guys. If you guys are impressed by the software, what it can do, and a lot more of the features, make sure to check out the link down in the description. I want to thank one their share very much for sponsoring this video and i'll see you guys obviously in the next video